Hello, my name is Gabe Thompson. I'm the chef of Epicurean Group, Dell'Anima, Lartuzzi, and Foro Lapicho and Epicurean Events. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, roasted pork with pancetta and red currant glaze. This is a great thing to serve to uh, some guests if you're having some friends over. First thing we need to do is season the pork with salt and pepper. Now what I've done is I've laid the pancetta slightly overlapping. This is about nine pieces. It might take uh, more or less uh, slices depending on the size of your pork tenderloin. This one's a little bit small, so it only took nine. Um, I've also got laid on a piece of parchment paper. You can do it on a piece of plastic wrap. It just helps you kind of roll it, kind of like a sushi guy type has, has the uh, thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this bacon going here, or pancetta rather. So each time you have a strip of bacon, like so this one, since I have nine strips, I'm going to do uh, nine pieces of string. Um, if you don't, it's going to come un unraveled while you're cooking it. And then you're going to want to cut these extra lengths of string off. So we're going to do this all the way down. And then in a large pan, we're going to start to cook this thing. So now we're roasting this uh, in a medium heat in a pan. You want there to be, if you can see here, there's a little bit of uh, about an inch per side. You want the pan to be at least a little bit bigger than the, the roast. So we want all the sides to be nice and brown. And it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes to get to render out the fat from the pancetta. Okay, so we've, uh, this guy's spent about 10 minutes in the pan browning off, getting it nice and golden. I'm gonna throw this in the oven for about five minutes. It's 300 degrees. We're gonna let that go for another five minutes. And then when that's ready, we're gonna pull that out. So I've taken this out of the oven. Once notice the, uh, the glaze got nice and caramelized on top. You don't want to let your meat rest, so you don't want to pull it out and immediately cut it because all the juices will run out. So we've let this rest for about 15 minutes. The meat will be more moist and more delicious if you let it rest and, and serve it closer to room temperature than glazing hot. Mm -hmm. 